What's up YouTube? I just wanted to film another update on what's going on in my refugium. So you can see swimming in the background there in the refugium a uh, juvenile maroon clownfish that's actually a yellow stripe but his stripes are white right now. And I made some modifications to this setup. I went ahead and put the hanging basket back in for the Chato. Uh, my buddy Kevin from uh, Rico's Reef Talk recommended that I do that, so I'm just going to follow that suggestion. Uh, as you can see, that, that water in the corner overflows as a result of the water uh, coming out of the gate uh, of the skimmer. So speaking of the skimmer, I've got the uh, overflow pointed down in here between the two uh, ball valves coming down to a nice Tupperware container. I drilled a hole in the top and I have a valve here to cut the hose off whenever I need to change out um, whatever's in there. I just out so uh, the top, I'm sorry, the, uh, the container itself is pretty empty but I'm getting some nice uh, dark iced tea looking uh, skimmate so everything's looking good so far right now in the basket below I've got some live rock uh, rubble and I'm going to be um, putting some mud in there to actually help out um, with the uh, nitrate levels in the aquarium. It's also going to help uh, with the growth of uh, algae and uh, it's going to lead to um, happier corals once I have some corals uh, in the fowler tank. Okay, so I wanted to give some more information about the refugium light that I'm using. And what it is here is it's the Kingbow. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's the Kingbow uh, light. Retails for $29.99 on Amazon. I'll post a link in this video. And I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. It's, it's a nice flat light. You can see it sitting right on top of the uh, freesium there. It's very low profile. Let me walk around the back. Anemone is looking good, by the way. So I've got a piece of glass baffle that I didn't use that I had cut down to size um, just to keep any water from splashing up on it. And um, you can see the the lights. We got a bunch of uh, reds, blues, whites, and there is some at least one infrared too. And the nice thing about this light is it's 13 inches wide, so it sits right on top of the aquarium surface it doesn't need to sit on the glass so there's a little bit of uh, air pocket between it and the glass and you can see a little uh, a little maroon is hanging around down there now the reason I'm keeping him in the refugium is that some of the fish in the um, display tank have been bullying him so uh, what I plan to do is try, I'm trying to get some of the damsels down here and then put him up top so he can get acclimated uh, with the other clown because I'd like for them to pair up. And this should be an it or possibly a female right now, I'm not sure yet, but I think it's an it. It was uh, in the aquarium uh, store with another smaller um, maroon. And they came from the same parents. So I'm not sure if they had paired up at some point. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, 
the pairing will go well. And, um, you know, I'd commented earlier about how brown the filter floss has gotten. You know, it's getting a lot of dirt. So it's working out very well. Um, one of the things I'm experiencing, and I'm not sure if it's because of um, my baffle um, silicone job or, or what, but I'm getting some air bubbles right here. So that's one thing I'm playing around with because I'm getting a lot of micro bubbles in the display, which this air bubble trap was supposed to defeat that. And as you can see, I'm getting no air bubbles coming up. But those air bubbles are forming down here somewhere. So anyway, that's the uh, update on the um, 55 gallon do-it-yourself sump. And the light. And I highly recommend it. It looks like it's going to grow the algae very well. And I'll be reporting back on that shortly. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching guys, please subscribe by clicking on the confish.